Live from San Francisco. Broadcasting around the world. world. You're listening to the Armand Wiggins Radio Show. Okay. Yes. Another day, another dollar. We got I Am Charles in the building. TikTok sim- sensation himself. Is that what you go by? I mean, because <laughs> we're friends. So now it's like, okay, which one do you go by? Is it Charles, Charles, I Am Charles? Or the TikTok girl name? Oh, it's definitely not the TikTok girl name. <laughs> okay, so w- what do we call you? I mean, everyone calls... I mean, my close friends call me Charles. Mm-hmm. People who know me on the internet call me Charlie. But s- people still call me Charles. I feel like I call you Charlie. Yeah, see, it just really depends. Like, it just really depends on the person, I yeah. guess. Like, some people call me... Charliqua. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> like, and so, and I'm an answer, so it really just depends, like, how you know me and, like. But yeah. your TikTok name is I Am, I am Charles. Charles. Okay. Yes. So, uh, I really, what? Which is my first name. Right. It's just spelled a little bit different, but that's who I am, so it's like. And you have over one million followers on TikTok. So you are a TikTok sensation you're a tiktok star you're tiktok famous basically you have you're on like uh celebrity birthdays yes how did you get on that um i'm not i don't even i didn't well how it happened i didn't even put myself on there um i just got an email one day and they said your name has been requested Mm. on our page numerous times so we added you on here and i was like what like I was shocked myself. I was like, no way. Like, I was like, what? Like, TikTok star? That's a thing? Like, Yeah. So, I mean, that's kind of how it happened. Like, Because I remember we talked, and I was like, you're, sh- you're on famous birthdays. Like, <laughs> how did that happen? And, you, and it kind of happened overnight, or did it not happen overnight, the whole TikTok thing? The TikTok thing happened. No, it did not happen. The, well, the viral videos happened overnight. But what it came from, I mean, it started from Musical.ly before. Right, which we're going to get into. But you have your TikTok character. Oh, yeah. What's her name? Takesha. Okay, and she's quite controversial. And we're going to get into Takesha. Uh-huh. Okay, but before we get into that, um, tell us a little bit about who you are and what led up to TikTok. Like, you know, where you're from, you know, the Musical.ly. And all of that. And what made you feel like you wanted to even get started on social media? Okay, well, growing up, I was always editing and stuff like that. And so one day, I actually have a friend. His name is E. Breezy. Mm -hmm. He actually started the Musical.ly thing. And I used to see him doing these cool transition videos, him and my other friend Janelle. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's cool. And mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, wow, they getting famous off of, like, these videos that they make. And so then, you know, I had, like, a little editing niche. And so then they started showing me, like, how to do transitions. Like, the transitions people were doing, like, my friend literally started that. Like, Really? He started the thing, transition, like, through video on the Internet. He was the first one to do it. That's, he got shouted out by, like, Jason Derulo, all these big people, and that's how, like, they started doing his thing. So then he taught me how to do it, and so then I started doing it. But, you know, tic- musically wasn't really that big of a thing. It was, like, it was big, but then it was, like, okay, it kind of, like, just disappeared. And so after that, like, I just started making transition videos and some of those videos started getting attention Mm -hmm. and and at this time i want to say i had moved from stockton to the east coast and then i started uh making them in massachusetts Mm. that was when i first made my first musically video was when i was in massachusetts okay and i used to make these videos with my friends, and I used to do all these cool popping in and outs and things like that. 
And then I moved away to Puerto Rico. And then from there, I had nothing but time on my hands. And it was nothing but, like, good scenes. And so I started posting just videos and random videos, and they started kind of getting viral attention, like what they would call viral attention then. But what viral now is, like, it's just, like, everyone's going to see right. it at this point. So it was kind of like the virality was just, little bit different it was still like your viral but not like viral viral but from there I just started making the music videos and then I got verified with 32,000 followers okay from musically mm -hmm. so this is before musically became TikTok yeah so you were already verified I was verified okay. on there because I was making cool transitional videos and stuff like that so it was like okay this is cool Mm -hmm. um, and then from there, um, I was just on the internet one day, and you know I never deleted the app. And then TikTok was musically got sold to TikTok, and you know there was this icon on my phone that has a musically symbol, and it had a TikTok symbol. And I would just scroll by it, and I would and this app was literally in my phone all this time, like all yeah. these four years, five years now. And I would just scroll past it because, you know, I was out of it. Like, I was just, I had just come back to California. And you were doing music videos. You were editing music, or shooting music videos. Yeah, that, I won that was actually after. That was after. Okay. That, that was still after the, the Musical.ly and the TikTok stuff. Okay. And and so the Musical.ly the music came, and then I, the app was on my phone, and... I'm like, why is there two symbols on here? Uh -huh. You know, I just ignored it. So then everybody's on the internet, and one day it just turned into a T, a glowing T, and it was a TikTok thing. And I'm like, what app is this? Like, mm -hmm. I don't remember installing this in my phone. Mm -hmm. And so I'm looking on the internet, and people are making all these TikTok videos, and I'm like, I could do that. Yeah. Because like, you already verified and got 32,000 followers. Yeah, and, and my account at this point is dead. Uh -huh. Like, I have 32,000 followers, and I got, like, three likes on a post. Oh, yeah. So once that happened, I was, you know, I was just like, oh, whatever. I started doing my music videos and stuff Okay, like okay. And so then I started shooting my music videos, and... Which you've done for a lot of popular people in the Bay Area and just all around. Yeah, um, all around the Northern California, I would say, to be exact. Yeah. Um, I definitely covered Northern California when it comes to, like, music videos and stuff like that. Um, and then kind of from there, like, I was shooting music videos all the time. You know, that was my source of income, and... I was doing the thing. It was it was it was a hobby. It was so fun. Like it was it was the funnest thing ever until I started getting paid for it. Okay. So, so cuz it became then, a job. So then once music videos became a job, it was just not it fun anymore. Isn't that interesting how when things become a job when you feel like you have <laughs> to do it, it's like I don't want to do this anymore. You know what I mean? Like, a, a lot of things become a job, but TikTok has become a, a, a job, essentially, as well. Yes. So, it's almost like I'm back at square one. <laughs> but it probably pays a whole lot more, but we'll, which we'll get into. Yeah. So, anyway, so then, okay, so you, then you get done with the music videos for a while. So, so I'm, I'm into the music videos, you know, I get back on TikTok. And, you know, I'm still doing my music videos, and I'm on TikTok now, and I'm just browsing around, and I'm just like, oh, I can make videos like this. And, you know, I seen a ghetto girl, mm. like, video. And I seen multiple, like, lots of them. Okay. And I'm like, oh, well, I already have a character from Musical.ly. Like, I had a character from Musical.ly. Just, I just had a wig, you know. It wasn't even a character. Okay. It was just, like, a wig, and, you know, I was making funny videos, and, you know, like, no controversy, I guess. Okay. And then 
I'm like, okay, ghetto girl. I'm like, well, I'm ghetto as fuck. Like, yeah. Like, I, <laughs> I know some ghetto ass shit. Like, <laughs> like, that's just what it is. Right. And I'm like, I'm going to make a ghetto girl. So mm. I'm sitting here eating some Takis. Uh-huh. You know, I'm just eating some chips. And, you know, I'm like, I'm about to take these to my hand. And, then and that's like, the hot Cheetos or the Takis. The chi- yeah. And so I'm like, I'm about to ta- I'm about to tape these to my hand. And then I'm like, I'm about to get s- I need some lashes. I ain't got no lashes. So I don't know what made me think to just cut some paper up mm. and tape them to my eyelids. Okay. And then I just took like a little bit of like my inner natural personality and I cut the video on and I just dressed up so crazy. I had one of my favorite drinks, like a Arizona. And then I just turned on the video and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to just go in for 15 seconds. And what was the video that took you over? I want to say the first one that took me over, it has, 10 million views right wow. now. Um, and that one was the one where I was like, when you've never seen someone from the ghetto. Mm. <laughs> so that was the, the, the caption. So what were you doing in this video? So in this video, I was just reenacting just girls from school, maybe, like, even one of my ex-girlfriends, possibly, and just, like, people who I'm around and just, like, my everyday life and just what I've seen growing up and just everything. So it was just, like, everything that I've ever knew about or done or come across or experienced or lived through. Yeah. All in a video. (laughs) Which clearly relates to a lot of people, but it also c- can be offensive to a lot of people, I guess, because when they see me, they see a straight male okay, in, in a wig. Okay. And that's not even the case. <laughs> so, wait, okay, cause, cause, so let's bring it back. So, you're this ghetto girl character, you get on TikTok, and then you go viral. And then so you're just like, Well, I want to do it. So did the pandemic help you pull this? Like, did you just like, okay, during this pandemic, I'm going to just go TikTok all the way? Because I feel like you just kind of hit during 2020. You just went crazy. Okay, yeah. So that's what it was. So I made a viral video. I made a viral video, Mm. and then I pushed away from it. Like, I just started doing regular stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, wow. like, Because no I remember one. you called me. And you were like, I got a job. I'm working. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And then all that changed. <laughs> right. It did. It, it changed quick. You know, things changed with me. Then you were fast. Versace down. And, <laughs> you know. But, yeah. So, anyway. So, you were doing that. Now, with that character. Now, I will tell you this. You know, those ghetto girl characters have been around for a long time. You know, Blame It On Quay, Tim Bay, Versed On Styles. A lot of those girls have done those characters before. So were you hesitant? Like, oh, my gosh, people have seen the man in a wig thing before. Well, for me, I don't watch a lot of other people. Like, like all of those people that you just named, I probably seen, like, Blame It On Quay. But I literally, if you point them to me right now would not know who they were i've never looked at other people i've never did any of that i yeah. never like i never thought about it i never really thought about it i never put thought into it i just did it like oh i'm about to be funny because you know i'm kind of funny or whatever the case and then like i said it went viral and but i i pushed away from it and then i'm like okay well nobody likes to look at me like as myself when I just should be trying to give them like the normal me. And then I did the Takisha again. And, and she then went, it viral. went viral again. And it, but <laughs> and you were and there was times that where you were trending on 
Twitter oh, and things oh, like oh. that because you were coming at different celebrities. You were coming at Cardi B at one point. And then there was a time where a lot of black women felt some type of way because they felt like you were a caricature of black, of ghetto black women, and you were make mocking and making fun of their struggle or just, you know, making fun of black women. What's that about? Well, I feel like there's nothing. I feel like they put too much thought into it. Like, it's not even really that deep. And at the mm. end of the day, these are things that I do relate with, relate with just like we all relate to it like we all relate to it but it's like for some reason it's 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 more i feel like it's more of a being gay and black it's kind of like a double standard it's like both of them it's like well when they like i said when they see me they say oh well you're a straight that's a straight male in a wig like oh blah 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 but when in reality i'm a gay man but my you're gay oh <laughs> <laughs> Are you gay? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Are you a top or a bottom? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. In the mix. mix. No. Who is the? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but okay, cause let's go. I mean, it's up to you. I'm in thought. Oh yeah, so. But since I'm a gay male, you know, my character is a little bit exaggerated. Mm. But to be honest, if I was a woman, I would probably have some hyphy long nails. Mm. I'll probably have a long colored bob and some hyphy long lashes just like that. <laughs> Period. <laughs> and I believe you. Like, that's just, But they feel like like there's nothing wrong with being ghetto like i'm ghetto as fuck like <laughs> the people i'm around are ghetto as fuck like touche and, and and you know i have a, a lot of different friend groups but my, i mean a lot of my friends are ghetto as fuck so it's just it's not even like i mean it's kind of just kind of like how i grew up it was it's just kind of like how i grew up so it's just like so what what have what is some of the nastiest comments you've got or like what kind of backlash have you received? Because I've I've seen some. You've called me and you know I've seen a lot of the I've seen when you were trending and they were dragging you. Um, they were saying things like, "Oh, you've never been with a woman before." Mm. Oh, you're a coon. And, and these I, are black women. Yeah, you're a coon. I don't even know what a coon is. I still to this day haven't even looked it up. I'm that like. A lost in the world, like um, you're you're doing modern day blackface, mm. um, and you're making money off of it too. <laughs> 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 and and you know, it's not even. I don't feel like. I mean, some people really feel like it's offensive, and I don't feel. I personally don't feel like it's offensive, and a lot of people don't. More people don't feel like it's offensive than the people who think it's offensive. Like there's yeah. more there's more good than bad, but the bad is definitely there. Yeah. And you know, they're like, Oh, you're a sellout. Mm. You're you're you have internalized racists in you. Mm. Oh you're, you're um So wait, is all your content about a ghetto bitch from the struggle like i mean why would are people feeling that way well is she just hella g broken ghetto <laughs> like like what is the kid like who what is her name describe her to me who is she her name is takisha okay 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 takisha so she's ghetto from the jump yeah she's a she's a ghetto she's my ghetto inner soul from high school even though i was not out in high school okay i was definitely ghetto and 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 even if this character actually like people laugh and stuff but this character actually reflects who i am kind of as a person because <laughs> if you if these people was saying if they knew you or like if you saw me walking down the street or if you was looking at me too hard, I'm going to be like, boo, the fuck is you looking at? Uh, do you got a problem? Is there something over here? Like, but that, oops. I don't know where that came from, but, you know. I'm, yeah. I'm classy. <laughs> but, you know, some it just, you just got to catch me on the day and it's going to come out. Yeah. But, you know, that's not something that broadcasts. 
I broadcast it through videos in a comedy way, but a part of it is me for sure. Like, do you feel like there's? Uh, do you feel like you're gonna be doing this for a long time? Do you see longevity in this character? Um, I don't and in TikTok. Well, uh, longevity in TikTok, I don't know about the character itself. Okay. Um, you know, I did come up with something new, and I had steered away from the character at one point. I steered away from the character for a good, like, five months. I How was that? Because sometimes when we try to steer away from things, it, the views aren't the same. It was not the same, but yeah. then it, it, it started, like, picking up, like, I had caught on I was just doing this drinking thing all the time like where if I drink a drink in five seconds I'll keep the link in my bio Mm. count with me Um, and that was my content I would just drink different drinks and different like I would get I would get Mickey Mouse Disney drinks because you know I know that those things would attract a kid audience or things like that so I would get like all these different like cartoon character drinks and I would drink them and chug Okay, them. so your main fan base are kids, you believe. So TikTok is like is for kids. It's uh yeah, it was definitely for kids. Okay. Now it's definitely age grouped out okay. for sure. Okay. Like okay. For sure. It's definitely different what it than what it was a w- year ago. Okay. Um so you know at first even in the beginning, you know, it wasn't as much as like, when I was making those videos, it wasn't as bad as it was when I just recently made another video. Okay. And it got 7 million views. And it's like, these are more older people now who are saying, like, all the things that I'm doing are wrong or things like that. But I, f- I feel like nothing's wrong with it, and I'm not going to stop doing it because this is who I am. And this is clearly how some of us are. It's not a bad thing. Like Yeah. Like, it's not a bad thing to be loud. It's not a bad thing to have long lashes. It's not a bad thing to have long nails. You know, Cardi B said, if she doesn't have long nails, she feels poor. She did say that. Hmm. Now, with that being said, you came after Cardi B before. Oh, yes. Well, what was that about? Well, I've come across Cardi B. um, I just do controversy. Like, if I see a trending subject, I'm going to talk about it. All I said was there was two incidents with Cardi B. One was when Cardi B was getting arrested, or Offset was getting arrested in Hollywood, mm-hmm. and I made a green screen about it, and I said um, something like she's back at it again or something, and people were like, "Why are you um, talking about her?" And she's under all this stress, and uh, she's crying over her husband, and the police trying to take him to jail, and blah 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 blah. So I got a little backlash to that, but the biggest one, or or when I talk about like Cardi B and uh, the Megan Thee Stallion mm. things like that, uh, when I said like uh, Megan was an opportunist mm-hmm. and or Cardi B was like an opportunist mm. and like she made songs with like everybody, or you know she would just go to like back and forth and kiss mm-hmm. with whoever and flip flop. Now, would you do this in the drag character? I mean, is it dra- I mean, you get in drag basically. Okay, so sometimes I do and sometimes I just talk about stuff as a boy, just like okay. just like this and either way it goes, like it's just something to talk about. I almost feel like my page started to feed into celebrity gossip, but then like I would definitely t- it definitely feed it into celebrity gossip. So, you know, I felt like since I had a platform and I would talk about it, people actually started seeing <laughs> it. Right. And, you know, like, and some of these videos, like, that I talked about, these people have, like, up to a million or more. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I definitely know some people have come across it. But, you know, it's more like the fans, really. Like, it's just people that are on the Internet that just gang up and group up and they don't know you from a can of paint. And even me, I don't know. I don't know. Ne- neither of them. I could just, that's why I do, I learned a little bit. I say allegedly. Yeah. Because, you know, n- not everything's always true, and I'm just giving an opinion. Yeah. Like, you know, it's just messy. I'm a little messy. It's yeah. It's like, that's all it is. It's okay. no hate. It's like, it's no hate. It's not like I really just hate these people. Like, no, it's just a little messy. Like, you know. So are you in, like, any of the TikTok houses? Have you been approached by any of the TikTok people? Because, you know, TikTok is really big in L.A. They have these big houses. And 
things like that. You know what's kind of strange about TikTok? A lot of people have seen my videos. Okay. But big creators, they don't. So it's still, so it's shady. It's, yeah, it's like. Okay, so what's the tea? Give me the tea on that. Like, I know people know who I am. Like, people will come in my page and be like, who are you? I never heard of you before. But it's like, it's a lie. You have. You're just on here just talking shit. But when it comes to, like, even me being a black creator. Mm. So there's a community on TikTok. There's a community on Instagram. It's a big, big platform for all the black creators. Every year, these all these top black creators who I have just as much followers. Well, I'm about to go up to 2 million now. I have 1.8. Okay. And, oh, so you have and, almost 2 million followers. I'm up there. Like, people know who I am for sure. And even the black TikTok creators and stuff like that, they don't, they don't reach out to me. And there's a thing, they're like, TikTok, like the TikTok black community. Yeah. They're all verified pages on Instagram, like, you know, and, and TikTok and everything. They send all these people merchandise. Mm. They send them for Black History Month. Yeah. All these big TikTok packages and all these things. Could it be your content? It could be. Could it be you haven't collabed? Um, no, it has nothing to do with that at all. It definitely has nothing to do with it. Because, you know, sometimes maybe you need to collab with some other people. You might need to know someone. Mm -hmm. You know, because the same thing with me, like in YouTube, and, you know, YouTube Black, the, you know, certain amount of black people get chosen, you know. And so, you know, I do controversial content, so sometimes we don't get chosen. So maybe you might be a little too controversial. So speaking of that, like you just said, so people we, we used to be say that I would be one of the top, I was definitely one of the top black creators. Mm. And people would say they never show black creators love or anything like that, but I, my page was getting the halls of love, you know? So when people would say stuff like that, I would be like, well, that's not true. But then it could be because of how controversy I am. Yeah. Like, but I just feel like it's, I just feel like it's not controversy because it's an inner part of me. Like, like when I'm talking about roaches and all these things, these are things I've lived through. Yeah. I've had roaches. And, mm. and I'm able to talk about all these things that oh, right. happened in my household because I've lived through it. Yeah. And, you know, I guess maybe people can say, oh, you're just hurt or anything. Or maybe I'm like, maybe people can say like, oh, you, it's something in you that's like blah, blah, blah. Or, and it's coming out. Well, like no, because I feel like the only way that our truest form of content and when we can give our true self is from our experience. As a creator, you give what you've experienced. Yeah, that's every that's where it all comes from. I don't I wouldn't know these things if I didn't see them or yeah. if I didn't live through it. So you feel like a lot of the TikTok community doesn't accept you, especially the black creators or just TikTok itself. Uh no, TikTok accepts me because clearly, you know, that I still have all different kinds of followers and stuff yeah. like that. Um but it's mostly it's really it's really mostly black women um, or gay men sometimes. Mm. Like, but it, it usually comes down to, like I said, when they first see me, they think I'm a straight man in a wig. And then when they I, when I'm say like, oh, I'm gay, then it becomes more like homophobic. Right. But now, now, okay, so we, oh, that's a big one. Okay, so <laughs> we got to get there. Okay, but I want to, before we jump there, I want to get to, because um, you were on, you were onto something when you were talking about the other creators, and if you were in doing the collapse. So you're not in a creator house. No, I'm not in a creator house. They have all these different kind of creator houses. But you do feel like some of the creators have seen you, especially black ones, and they, oh, you yeah, haven't got they, your credit. Oh yeah, no, they definitely. So see. are you beefing with anybody? Is it any shade? Is it any tea? Not really, but you know, I'm not. I'm the type of TikToker like I'm more regular, like. Mm -hmm. And I, you're really will, ratchet in real I life. I will really go to a VidCon <laughs> and beat you the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> like, but not everybody's cut like that. Like, like people be saying all that stuff online. Like, I'm real ratchet and real ghetto in real life. So it's like, <laughs> it's a little different. Like, they think it's all funny until I'm like, there. <laughs> and it's like, hey, how are you? Like... 
So it's it's kind of like like so what they're seeing they're like oh he's gonna be they're loud that uh yeah. If you if you say something to me or if you feel, if I feel like you disrespected me or hurt me me how you see the, that girl acting in the video is definitely how I'm gonna be acting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, and so then you made another point and you said. Um, a lot of the gays don't like you or the black women, and then it's like they become homophobic. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, I feel like for the most part, a lot of black women, they don't care. They think it's funny as hell. Like, uh-huh. they're not offended by it at all. You know, people say, the whole thing is that they're saying that I'm labeling black women as ghetto. As ghetto, and when broke. in reality... No. <laughs> <laughs> and and in in reality ghetto comes in all races. Okay. Like, like but what it is they since I'm a black man, mm-hmm. I'm automatically identified as a black woman when in reality mm-hmm. there's 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 huh? wait. I what? Have, okay, wait. My, wait. What? Explain I'm that. I'm a I'm a ghetto girl. Okay. I'm, I'm just a ghetto girl. Okay. Like, I'm just ghetto. Okay. J- and period. Okay. That's, it's what it is. Right. But when when I put on a wig and everything, they're like, you're talking about black women. I'm not even talking about black women. I'm talking about every ghetto bitch. <laughs> right. <laughs> Including myself. <laughs> like Because you have a, a, a very diverse group of friends. Oh, yeah. For sure. Hands down. We could get ratchet and then... We can go. And so what about the gay men? Um, gay men, I just feel like they just follow up. They just follow up with, like, women or just, like, the community. And I feel like they just put themselves in it when, in reality, if I wanted to be, people would say, like, oh, you're a cross-dresser or whatever mm. the case may be. But if I wanted to do this, mm. This is what I could do. If I wanted to identify as a girl, I mean, people call me she, and I'm still going to respond, you know? Like, <laughs> like, like I could identify however I want, but since I'm a boy, it's like I'm automatically, like, they just put me in a category of, like, their own narrative or whatever the case may be. Like, when they first see me, like, they wouldn't even know, like, people call me she all the time. Now, do, do people ever, like, uh... Call you would see you on the street and they call you uh, Takisha. Um, I've had an encounter like that. Oh yes, definitely in L.A. on a rooftop. Well, she didn't identify me as Takisha. She said, "Hey, uh, my little sister watches your TikTok videos, and this is in L.A. on a in Hollywood on a rooftop pool party. You know, I'm doing yeah. my thing. Like, mm-hmm. she's like." My little sister watches your videos all the time. And then she was like, I was like, who, me? I was like, are you sure? She said, where's your Takis at? <laughs> oh, because they did the fingernails. Yeah, and I'm just regular, though. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, she identified me as that person, though. Right. For sure, like, where's your Taki nails at? It's you. Like, so, I mean, I don't, and even little kids, I guess, when I w- walk out the house, I, I'm like six. So, I'm not identifiable. Do you ever feel like you want to shake the female character and be Charles with the follower? Or do you feel like you have to be, in order to maintain the success and the celebrity of it all, you have to be sensually in drag? Almost. How does that feel? Because I've always wanted it's to not, know. But it's not drag. It's it's more cross-dressing if you want to like keep it okay. technical. Because I'm all I'm doing is putting on a wig. The rest is kind of like exaggerated like with the lashes and the nails and stuff that was the whole thing of why i got famous was paper lashes and nails which was right funny so everything else is just exaggerated exaggerated me tying on a a, a scarf around my uh top to make it a crop top and that's just all exaggerated but if i would just put a wig on it would just be like cross-dressing i guess like a man like so how does that like so would you are there are there days where you think about like damn I wish I could be myself and get these views or you just are are you okay with the fact like bitch I'm having fun this is my alter ego and bitch this is I what like it, is. it like yeah okay so, like, yeah I figured that out I'm like okay this is like 
like if I make content regular, it's not really like what people are gonna wanna like talk about. Like even when it comes to like the whole music thing, like it's not yeah. gonna be like stuff people are gonna wanna listen to or relate to. For sure. I'm, I, yeah. I only ask you that because I notice a lot of people that start wearing the wigs and things like that. Then they eventually try to transition into being themselves, mm-hmm. and then it's not the same. It's people want to box you in, and they want to keep you in the wig. And people are like, listen, I got to grow. And so I always wonder, you know, what that's like for those people that become successful that kind of do the cross-dressing or the the, the girl character, the ghetto girl character, and when they want to get out of that character. Or do you want to stay or do, are you, or do you want to stay that character? Well, based off the results, and what it does, I think that I would stay that character. And yeah. even even with like all the bad things that people are saying, like you said now, I look at blame it on Quay. Mm-hmm. And I'm like and I look at how successful he is. And you know, I feel like we are similar but a little bit different. Like he he walks out like that a lot. And I don't feel like honestly, I don't think he could leave that character. You know, you he the, he's it's instilled in him like he goes to the red carpet like that yeah. type deal versus mine's is like <laughs> the same deal. Yeah. But I'm still myself at the same time. Like, yeah. So it kind of, it kind of, it kind of works. But if I had to, if I had to do like public stunts and stuff like that, you know, yeah. I would do that. But when it comes to like, if I had to go to like the red carpet, I'm going to show up as myself. Okay. You get it, but yeah. I could I could drag the character on and on and on and on, but when it comes to me going out, I'm not gonna go out like blame it on Quay. Like you get it, he's gonna go out like that on some day. Would you would you <laughs> would you describe yourself as a comedian? Um, I don't know if I would. I mean, I guess I do have like. I would describe myself as a comedian if if it came down to it. If I had to like roast people and stuff like that i'm good at that i'm good at cracking jokes i'm good at talking shit like i'm good at that and it it comes from middle school Mm -hmm. being talked about all the time like roasting and and just growing up getting roasted all through high school that's where it really came from because it's like you gotta defend yourself so Mm -hmm. you gotta talk some shit back and you gotta learn how to talk some shit like I, I could talk some shit that's not even realistic, and kind of like some of the stuff I might say, like when I I just made a video that has like three hundred three million views, and I said that's why your grandma did. Mm. I knew what I was doing, <laughs> like I knew that it was just off the wall, even though it was it was just funny, like it was just funny, it was just something funny to say, but it's like. It's not funny, but it's just, like, something that's just, like, a shock factor. Yes. Like, do I mean it? No. It's so who who are some of your inspirations? Like, who inspires you? Like, who 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 do you look up to? Like, who do you be like, wow, like, I, I pull from this. Like, I get entertained. I get energy. I'm inspired by. I look up to them. Like, who are some of your, who are some, I don't like to use the word idols, but who are some of the people that you look up to and that you respect? You know, in your business, or maybe not, just people that you you know that inspire you. I don't. I don't feel like. Hmm. That's a hard one. Mm. I don't feel like I'm inspired, and you know what's mm. a, you know what's a. I feel like I'm a. Actually, I feel like I set it a trend. Honestly, like, okay. You know, I mean, I did because that's kind of like it. Literally made. Yeah. Like, you know, that was the whole purpose. But I don't feel like I have people. I get this question all the time. I don't feel like I have people that I look up to. People ask me, like, who's my favorite TikToker? I don't feel like I have one. Well, like, who's your favorite person, celebrity I mean, or artist? Who, like, who do you pull from? We all have I pu- somebody. I, mean, I, I used to pull from Landon a lot. Landon Romero, the um, the boy from L.A. He, okay. He makes a, I watch a lot of his videos sometimes. Like, I think his videos is funny. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I guess I could, like. I mean, we don't want you to make anybody up. So if you don't feel like you're inspired by anybody, then you're not. 
Yeah, like I'm, I'm I want to think about it because you yeah. know that's a question that like. It's a it's a real question. Yeah. When I think about it, it's not something that just pops off my head. Because well, when I ask you that question, it's more about not about literally about TikTok. It's just more about success. So it's more like who and who do you look to and be like, you know what? I feel them. I fuck with them. I like the way they move, and that's how I want to take. Even if they don't do what you do, mm-hmm. just like in general, just like in general. Yeah, it's you. Li- you admire the way that they move. You know, and so. I mean, maybe w- maybe you'll answer that by the end of the show. Now, um, another question is, um, I want to ask you. So, with going viral and all of these things, and now you're the ghetto girl, you're one million followers in. Um, are you making any money? Like, I mean, I clearly you are. Like, I, what, what is it? Like, is it some big money here in yeah. TikTok? So yeah, there's definitely big big money in it. Okay. Um, um, it just depends on what you're doing, what what you got going. Like a six figure income. Definitely. Okay. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Mm. Um, it's more. It definitely has potential. It's definitely. It just depends on the person. Okay. For me, I wouldn't say it was six. It was about ten thousand short. But yeah, you know, <laughs> that's still. A that's a lot penny. of money. You know, a lot of p- a l- that's still a, a pretty penny. That's a lot of money. Um, and so you know, that's just that, and. And that comes just from... So you're a full-time TikToker. You don't have any other job, no site. Your job is to TikTok. <coughs> yes. That's, that's Period. That's the breadwinner. That, okay. That I have to do it. Like, there's no if, ands, or buts. Yeah. Like, I can't not do it. Because I also seen that you were doing these these surveys. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, like, you know, a lot of people on Instagram, Whoa, Vicky, Boot Gang, they do a lot of surveys. Now, people think that that's fraud. And I know that people may say, oh, listen, you're fraud and you're fraud. So is that fraud? Like, tell me about these iPhone surveys, these swipe up surveys. Are you guys scamming people? Okay, no. So we're not actually scamming people. This is the whole idea of it. You do this. You take the surveys that you click the link in the bio. You take the surveys. Some people do get the iPhones, but just not everybody. It, okay. It, 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 it's, it's after, like, so many people. I, ju- I literally just talked about this <laughs> with, with the developers, and I was like, okay. so is this a scam? And they're like, no. Yeah. People are actually <laughs> getting their iPhone. Okay. People comment on my, people comment on my page and like, oh, my And they keep doing God. it because they got the phone. People comment on my page sometimes and be like, Oh my God! I really got the iPhone. Is this what I should be doing? Should it, is this? Should <laughs> I be doing this? Yes. <laughs> okay. It, yes. Like, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, and so it's not just that. Actually, it's not even just about that. Like, you can get paid thousands of dollars. Like, yeah. Even, even not just from the surveys. Okay. You can get paid from every person that downloads the big old app. What's that? The Big O Live app. That the Big O. Okay, yeah. yeah. Every time a person get downloads that app, you can get paid for it. Wow. So there's different campaigns. There's all the app, all any app that you see in the app store. There's on the other side of it, you can get paid um, mm. for just having people download all these games. All wow. These apps. And the games are free. All these things wow. are free. Wow. So you know, if you advertise a video and it goes viral on TikTok. All those people are gonna download that game. Wow, and then that's just kind of how it so works. So you're getting your bread, honestly. So yeah, it's basically it's independent contractor. Though, Period. If you wanna, if that's how you feel. Sounds like it. you're getting a bag, my friend. <laughs> now and, and just imagine, I and you know, I'm I'm just, I would consider myself on the low end. You know, there's two million followers is not a low end. Oh no, but I'm saying. There's a lot of other people out there that is definitely making a hot coin on TikTok. I'm at all these big TikTokers who have all these millions and millions of views, like people think like, oh, they're just dancing in front of the camera and they're doing stupid stuff. Yeah. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Like you get paid for your views. Mm. Like, like you get paid for your views, like for sure. Um. And, and so if you're bringing in just from views, not even from apps. Yeah. Just from views alone last month was definitely a like a hot thousand. No. A hot thousand, you know. And that's just depending on how your view count is and how many views you can put in. But it's not it's not a lot. So one million views gets you how much money, you think? 
not a lot. You gonna okay. have to put some work in. There. Okay, you know, but so so now that you know, like you gonna need a, a a good ten million in that month or something. Ten million plus some surveys and then no. some sponsors. Oh no, and then some downloads. The, the, that's just for the views. No, the, but I'm the, just saying the, to yeah. make a good income. Yeah. you want to do some. You want to do some views, some swipe ups, and some, some click the links in, installs. Yes. Okay, makes sense. Which is on the influencer side. You see all these big influencers doing it like whoa vicky and stuff like that and i used to be like how do they do that yeah i never understood it that's why i'm like and i know that you do this so i'm like what is this and, and i and so i used to be like like dang like how are they making all this money like and then one day my friend's like oh this is how you do it i was like oh i clicked the link in your bio like can i get an iphone he's like oh yeah but you have enough followers you could work for us Mm. And so, you know, I'm like, what? And then, you know, he showed me, like, the developers and stuff and all these paid campaigns and all these paid things you can do as an influencer. You don't even have to be a TikToker. Yeah. You know, it's it's just you just have to be an influencer. You don't have to be a TikToker. This yeah. It's just for anyone who's an influencer and who has a platform. Yeah. Um, they're able to advertise for all these companies. Like, yeah. all of them. Like, Cash App, OnlyFans, like... All of them. All these companies, they have, they all pay peak mm-hmm. influencers to advertise their stuff. Fashion Nova, all that stuff. Yes, hold on. Okay, and so I had another question for you. With that being said, um, you're TikTok famous, making good money. Um, what do your parents think about this? Well, I don't have any. You don't. We all have parents, so now maybe uh, you maybe don't. Okay, but you have somebody, like you know what I mean. So you, I mean, what does that mean? Mm. So, so are, I mean, are they they're passed away? Because if they're passed away, then you know I do apologize. I mean, there's not really no. They didn't. There's not really. That question is crazy because, like, what you just said is like, I don't, I never had nobody to like make them like think of like, oh, are they proud or anything? Because I didn't have parents, so I was raised in foster care, so it's like I didn't really. Once this all happened, okay. there was nothing for anyone else to think about. So you don't even. It so was there. No one else' opinion really mattered. Like, like oh. uh like, like you just said, like, yeah, who, like, what did they think? Like, there was nobody for me to have to think about or any of that. Like, so this I don't must be really, so you must be really happy and proud of yourself because you're like, well, damn, without having, you know, proper guardianship, like, to I'm be successful, yeah. you know, you've really done your thing, you know. So there must be someone that's there for you. Are you in a relationship? Um, I'm not in a relationship right now. Okay. So um, you are all single and on the market. Listen, <laughs> single TikToker <laughs> making a hundred thousand or more <laughs> plus a year, two million followers. You know what I'm saying? You are an eligible bachelor. How old are you? Twenty nine. Now I'm on I don't <laughs> Okay, 29. 29. A little birdie told me you were 32. Oh, oh they lied. They <laughs> definitely lied. You better look up me. You better. You want me to show you my ID? Oh, I can't believe they said that. They lied. <laughs> Who told you that? <laughs> they definitely was lying. You 32. <laughs> Facebook told me that. Oh, that's a lie. The The year on there is like, <laughs> I think when I signed up, like, I don't know why it says, like, a wrong year. <laughs> I never changed it. So, so Facebook did tell you that, but it's not that for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you tried that. <laughs> oh, what else did it say? <laughs> Okay, so you're 29, single, making money. Why don't you have a boyfriend? 
I mean, or are you bisexual? Or are you girlfriend? I'm definitely not bisexual. Okay, so you like men. So why don't you have a boyfriend? Like, how di- how do you not have a boyfriend? Well, I'm working on it. Okay. I mean, I was in a long I was in a long relationship for a long time. So what does that mean? I was in a long term relationship, so I've only been long term. Like, give me years. Give me dates. Um, about nine years. Wow. Yeah. So since you were 20 years old, you've been yeah. in a relationship. That's a long time. I would say 21. 21. 21. That's a long time. Oh, wait. No, it was 20. It was definitely okay. 20. Because I met him when I was 19, technically. So yeah. Okay. Oof. And, yeah, I was in a long relationship. So we have only broke up like three months ago. And okay. So you're healing. Um, I rehealed because we talking again. Look at uh, you wanted it. <laughs> you wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're not single. Oh, I'm still single though. But who's gonna want to date somebody that's talking to their ex for nine years? Like you can't. Uh, no one can compete with that. Well, you know, I've, I've. Who's gonna? Be, I've like, tried honestly, dating. I'll so, who's so gonna I've be tried able dating. to compete with a nine year relationship and you're talking to him? Who's going to be able to compete with that? Um, no one. Okay, so, but, okay, so, yeah. I But I did date. I've, I've dated, and even in these recent, like, I've dated, and like you said. Have like, you let him know that you've dated? Ooh. Well, I guess well no, right. no, yeah, I think we talked, yeah, we definitely talked okay. about it. Like, okay. I definitely, we just. You know, I'm a, nosy here. Okay, yes, we just definitely had a big talk. Okay. And, you know, I. I, I've talked about it. Like it's like okay. I see other people. I don't want to be with other people. Okay. Like you said, it, how is it hard dating? Yes, it is because now people are only beneficial. They only want to see. They want the benefits. Oh. Like like they they see me now. They see and, I am Charles the TikToker. And yeah. This Instagram one two million. Boy, yeah. yeah. And all these things. And so now it's more like. It's like hmm, what can he do or for like, me for me or like. Like that, it's like what what can they benefit from? That's all I'm getting every single time. Like yeah. I've run into like one person, but other than that, it's like you said, dating now is more like it's more like the the look. Like it's mm. more like Ooh, I'm with a TikToker. He's popular. Mm-hmm. Over, he's popping. Like, like oh, it's not even genuine no more. Almost like yeah, it's it's more like the it sounds good, but. Can you really be with someone like me or and stuff like that? And it's like, and honestly, it's hard because being a celebrity or, or a, a public figure, it's challenging, you know. Um, so you got to make sure that you know you choose the people around you wisely. Now, um, one last question that I have for you um, before we get out of here is, you know, what's next for you, and where do you see yourself in five years from now? Um, in five years from now, um, you know, it took me, it took me a long time to, you know, hold my own self. Mm -hmm. I'm 29 years old. Mm -hmm. I've, I've barely learned how to become responsible Mm. and things like this. So, you know, I kind of started late and, you know, I've never had the flow of income that I do now. No, because you were in the relationship. So it's safe to say that the person that was with you was the breadwinner. And oh yes, most definitely. Okay. And you know, and you know, I always worked. You know, I always, I was always a hustler. You know, mm-hmm. I've always been a hustler and things. You like were that. always Takisha. <laughs> 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 and you know, I've always been a hustler and things like that. So you know, we in the next five years, now that all this thing, these things are coming, mm-hmm. I see a lot of different things for myself. Like I definitely see myself owning a house, mm. and, and you know. I want to be a business owner. These are m- those are my ultimate goals. Like I know hands down that I want to be a multi business owner. Okay. Like I want numerous businesses, um, and you know, like a house. And you know, well, are you going to be on TikTok? Like what, what's um, what, what, um, what's what, what's it for okay, TikTok and, then, and, and then and then so for my TikTok and stuff like that, you know, I'm going to keep going with that. Eventually, if I could just transfer it over to just like me, like you said, me being me. Doing music, uh, shooting videos. So you're coming back to the videos. Yeah, just eventually I'm gonna come back to the videos and you know start shooting again and stuff like that, and even maybe just shoot for other 
upcoming TikTokers because you know it's not everyone's time. It's not going to be your time forever. Yeah. You know, so you know maybe the people that are coming up, or maybe I could come up with like some kind of business formula, some kind of social media marketing. How did I do it, or how you can do it, or or things like that. So, like yeah. classes, or yeah, 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 things like that on 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 people that are new, yeah, that are coming up and yeah, and things. Which like is a good that. idea. Um, but like I said, just multiple forms of income, um, different businesses and stuff like that, and just being successful and and not even. Not even completely just super rich, but just okay. Yeah. And so what's next for you right now? What's next for me right now? I'm going to be making some more Ghetto Girl videos. Okay. And that's up. That's it. And it's that. That's it. That's all we got going right now. More Ghetto Girl videos coming soon. This does not stop. This is me. And it is what it is. And listen, I'm here for it. Hold on. <coughs> is that Corona? Is that you? Ooh, no. No. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. no, okay, but listen. You know, I really appreciate you coming appreciate you coming in here today, sitting down, chatting with me. Um, we've been friends for a while now. Um, you've always supported me. You know I love you to death. We talk. Um, is there anything else that I had did not talk about that you feel like, uh, well, girl, we need to get into? Um, you know, let me know. Is there anything that you want to say that you may feel like I have forgotten or didn't hear? Um, no, I think you covered almost everything. I mean, that's the end of the show, really. You, unless you like, no. I think we did it. We All did right, it. so you know, you know, people can follow you at I am Charles. Oh, this is crazy that it just ended at ten o'clock because my bedtime is at ten. That's crazy. I go to bed at ten o'clock every day and I wake up at six in the morning and do TikTok. All right. Well, we're going to get out of here. You guys can follow me all at all, all over your social medias at the Armand Wiggins show. And this is my good friend. I am Charles on everything, right? Or I am Charles on TikTok. Okay. And oh, my God. Charlie underscore on Instagram. And you can find me on YouTube, too, if you want. I am Charles. If you type in I am Charles or oh, my God, Charlie, he's definitely going to pop up. Thanks for listening to the Armand Wiggins radio show. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe. And subscribe. I will see you soon. Peace out.